Welcome back, adventurers, to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are not back home in Ravensthorpe, but still in Chloe Castershire, and that means that I found something worth recording on the beginning of this episode. And this is this spot here. I did collect everything else that was interesting here in Chloe Castershire. Uh, apart from that uh, altar, because I don't have enough bull heads that the altar wants from me, but everything else was kind of the normal kind of the normal stuff. Go there, collect the treasure chest, and uh, kill people. But here in front of us, there is something special. Let's uh, go and have a look. There are these nice uh, candles leading the way too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I've been here already, so I do know what we are dealing with. That's uh, pretty funny. There are caryatids, so these are statues that are carrying architecture in a huge manner. This is not a thing, by the way. So we have caryatids that are... Oops, I teleported. That's so weird when he does that. Um, that are carrying architecture, the most prominent ones that these are modeled after, or at least that one, that uh, woman here, um, are on the Acropolis of Athens. So, a Greek architectural style. <laughs> this should be Roman. Uh, but uh, they're kind of a bit over life size. So, they're around, I think, two meters, but not like this huge huge statues that we see everywhere here in Britain. So that's not a thing. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> and I mean, imagine how big that building must have been. If this is only the front facade or even only the gateway, right? I mean, come on. Ah, oh, it's funny. There's a bath building, at least by the look of it. Yeah, I think they thought this would make sense if all of this would be one huge structure, maybe. I don't know what they thought. There's another huge statue, but this time it's not a carrier tee because it's on a basis, a round one. So it's just a single monumental statue, which is also pretty weird. Oh, and there is an next. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man. So, flanking warriors. And uh, then we come to this uh, central little temple on a podium here. And that is the entrance to a throw. That's why I came back. I thought these are kind of funny to do together. Because they're like little riddles. Yeah, that again is a, is a small podium temple. So at least a Roman building style. Oh, let's there. There's the entrance to the bureau. We don't get the notification because I already <laughs> have been here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Temple of Ceres bureau. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get some light. Aha, uh -huh. we can get through here. What's back here? Ah, a closed door. I suppose that's where we come back then. It's kind of a roundabout. If we find a way in, and the way in is back there. But first, we light up the place. Here and there. Nice! That's much better. <laughs> Get through! <laughs> oh, you can't get through. 
through? Why is that? Ah, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. I hear the tinkling of a chest. I wish we could light these, but that's not a thing. Maybe if I throw the torch? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's not a thing. Okay. Now, how do we proceed? Uh-oh. Poison. Aha. Uh -huh. We need something that we can explode. And most probably it's behind the poisonous fumes. We can light these. That's nice. Ah, oh, look at that. So many candles. Come on, there are more. No? You don't like those? Okay. Let's light that and be very careful with our torch. I think I throw it in there and have a peek. We shouldn't maybe take it back. I don't know. Oh He's yeah, out. yeah. That's not that's not Something a good idea. Not right. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Now we know it. We get rid of that. Then that's the only way, right? Then we get rid of that. Where do we go from here? We can light that, so maybe it'll burn down the fumes immediately and they cannot come back if I fire in here. Oh, I see. We have to get in there. Before the fumes come back. Ah, they can't really reach us. I threw my torch in there, didn't I? So, now we have a problem. And these don't get rid of the fumes. So, I put that... Where is it? There. Hey, stand up. I take a fresh torch. Throw that there. Put that here. Take a torch. Uh oh. No, the. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Please don't. Oh. Okay. Okay, nothing happened. As of yet. Uh oh. Don't. Don't explode. <laughs> That was risky. Got it, though. You go here. Ooh, it's pitch black now. If I leave the torch there, it doesn't do anything. Oh, it's just a teeny tiny treasure. Okay. We need those nonetheless. That's good that we collect them. Oh, come on. Yes, weird aim with the torches. That's back. And now we can go down there, right? We might need more explosives down there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's investigate where we have to go. That seems explosive. Mm. Need to be oh. careful here. Yeah, with your with your flames. Okay, let's burn it down. Ah, we just have to go through. Yeah, yeah, it's explosive. Oh gosh. Is it though? Did it explode? Oh, there it comes back. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. We have a lot of explosive stuff here. Why is that? Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, more of that. I'm glad we have unlimited torches. Let's see where we need the explosives. Most 
probably here somewhere. What's back here? Oh, just a dead end. Let's light it up. Okay. Aha! Can I light that? Yes. Now we know where we need the explosives. Okay. Let's go back and get them. Go, go, go. Oh, take it. Ah, it's... Oh. It's... Oh. What was that? Um, I think... Do they go out or did, didn't I light those? Might not have lighted those. Okay, maybe I can do the run in one... Going, like... Go, 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 go. Yeah, he runs. I think we should be fine. We are. Cool. See the chest. I hope we don't need keys. Oh, it doesn't stop burning. It's intentional. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It's the Assassin's Creed sign that burns. That's awesome. That's that door that we saw from the other side, right? Let's see. Yep. We know our way out. That's good. Okay, cool. Oh, now he lights that one? Does he? No, it's not lit. Okay. <laughs> there is... Uh, the, the map. Hidden One's Contract. Genus Pacti, execution. The new Church of Rome has found sturdy footing in the Isle of Britannia, yet our past support of these same worshippers goes unrecognized. Executions of Belgae pagans are a routine occurrence in the streets of the city. Our pleas for compromise fall upon deaf ears. Imperator Theodosius is unresponsive. We must send a message. Three Church Fathers. Vitus, Secunda, Agapitus must die in a public spectacle. Remind the Romans that Britannia is home to numberless tribes. Contrahid, Asolotus Teague. Status, partial success. Target killed, Magister succumbed to wounds. Oh, okay. That doesn't sound too good. There's the Greed's flag. What else do we have? Faded letter from Magister Sebastus, or to Magister Sebastus. Forgive my spirited tone, but this evacuation order from Magister Vitus in Londinium seems premature and cowardly. For over three centuries, the Hidden Ones have worked in the shadows of this empire to protect its subject subjects from the worst abuses of numberless Caesars and their petulant whims. Yet now, as the Empire recedes and our protections begin to bear fruit, we are told to abandon our, to abandon our post? Madness! Have all our efforts come to nothing? Will our noble sisterhood let these violent but few voices who oppose our presence sing loudest? We must be better than this. I'm sure you will agree. Your friend and sister in shadows, Magister Maya. Alterius non sit qui suus esse potest. Hmm. But they did leave. That's for sure. The Magus Codex, page 3. Yet to see the last light, you must first feel the loss, the emptiness, the pain. 
And you must act always with the belief that you have failed, that you will fail again, that you must always fail. This is the way of the hidden ones, to fail better than you have before. We wander in the dark, ever searching for the light. She then paused and drew a great breath. But here I must contradict myself. For although the nature of reality is empty and unknowable, the nature of our work is not. And for this brotherhood to succeed, we must have tenets by which we may judge our success. Hard, cold rules. Truths by which we swear. A faint murmur rushed through the gathered acolytes at the realization of what was happening. The final codification long rumored hmm. interesting now upon us the woman spoke again with more gravity than before since the twilight of the ptolemies the hidden ones have served to break the unnatural shackles that man puts upon man and we have done so in a manner consistent with our creed yet this has often led to confusion and chaos thus have we devised a set of three tenets born from rigorous practice and application to lead us to greater success. One, she began, hide in plain sight, that your success may come in view of all, yet swiftly and without forewarning. Two, never compromise the brotherhood. Be thoughtful in act and speech, for it is the only sure way to protect ourselves from outside influence and keep our motives uncorrupted. And where's the third? Maybe we'll never find out. Or we'll find it in the next bureau. I don't know how many there are. Okay. Now, how to get to that chest? Just dash through <laughs> and take the burn? Burns! I think that's what we have to do. Maybe here? Whoa. Oh. Didn't even touch us. What did we get? Leggings! Nice. But there must be another chest somewhere. I might have missed it. In those tunnels. It's right there, right in front of me. Hmm. Here. There's something behind that. That's the exit. Is there a path? didn't break everything, I think, so there might be some hidden paths. Oops. Maybe it's not down here. Huh. That is a possibility. Let's get out. Oh. I missed the exit. There's nothing, right? It must be here. Can we quick check above ground? Let's eat up. <laughs> nothing here. It might be... Now I discovered it again. That's awesome. It might be in the ruins or up there. Yeah, I already <laughs> discovered it. Maybe it's just here, sitting on that hill. Who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it's underground. Okay, so we missed it. What do you see? Don't we normally... Oh, hello. 
there's another one. Don't we normally see it? Oh, back there somebody died. Yeah. Don't we normally get the marker through the ground, though? That's weird. <laughs> There's no extra cave, is there? Oh, I obviously missed something. Let's grab these... Opals? That are on top of that ruin. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there's a bear sitting there. Oh, he guards an opal. <laughs> Yeah, that might be a problem. Maybe you should kill it first. Yeah, you can't get me like that. I'm up here. Did I get it? Yeah, I think so. Where's the other bear? Huh. Huh. I need to get to the other side here. No! What you doing? Now, how to get to that chest? Let's hop onto Nikkei or Victoria. There's nothing down here, is there? What is that? A pot. Oh, it's these candles. Right, they're everywhere. There's nothing on top of here, right? Let me have another look. Not that I go in there again see? in vain. Yeah, I don't see it at all. Huh. Should there be bandits or something? Is that... Another entrance? I don't see anything. Okay. Wait. Can I burn this too? This is the same construction as the one inside. So do I have to burn that to open up something? That would be new, wouldn't it? And there's no oil in there or anything. So I don't think that works. Hmm. Most probably we, we really just missed something, <laughs> right? Okay, let's not make it more complicated than it is. No. It's behind that door. Let's back to oh, they came back. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, I think it was in that main hall that we didn't look 
at thoroughly because of the poison, right? That's what it is, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I didn't look around. Because I was... Uh, <laughs> did I fetch the explosive? Explosives here, here, that one. Okay. So, let's get rid of that. Let's wait till that explodes. And then... It'll be here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe not. Because it's in that direction. Uh oh. Poison's back. Oh, there's more poison. Must be somewhere here. That's the only part of it that I didn't look at properly. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh no, we are in trouble. Are there explosives? I think in the neighboring room, right? Now I hear the treasure chest too. Come to me. No, no, get it. Yeah, nice. Then put it here. Uh huh. I think you're safe Smells like a trap. here. Ah, that's only Teen Spirit. Don't you worry. <gasps> it doesn't work because it's in the water. Mm, okay. We can make that happen. Uh, where's my torch? I need to get a new one. Okay, here you go. How do we explode that one? Maybe with the gas? It's back. Maybe we need a chain reaction? Like putting more than one? Yeah, it doesn't even stand there. Um, like if I put a row of these. Need to be careful here. Or, or that, that big one back there. I think I can walk there, right? He didn't get poisoned, yeah. Like here. Here it stands. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. And there's the chest. Awesome! Now we got it. Oh, I teleported again. Easy now. Something is not right. Easy now. <laughs> What's closer? Getting back or getting through here? I don't know. I think there... There's the door. The exit. Okay, cool. That was that. And now we can go back to Ravensthorpe, which we will do. Nice. I lost some health. Okay. I think I already have been here and looted all of these things. And uh, I read that. But in between episodes. One ring. My search for the ring of Sylvanus has proven fruitless. Stolen from the temple before I, ha before I arrived by who knows what. A ring is something so tiny it could be hidden in a pocket for all we know. I have found a lead towards another treasure. The mask of Janus Bran. Yeah, and uh, there was uh, a mask lying about somewhere here that I collected when I came here the first time and didn't recognize that back there was the burrow. So... That's that. Now we should have everything. Apart from that. And I didn't do the, the, the dice game. 
or luck. It's what it's called. That's crossed off. Yeah, I don't see anything else. So, yeah. I mean, what I do want to do in between the next main quest is... There was one more beast to slay, right? I think a bear. But... I don't know where it was. Oh, here. Beast of the Hills. Um, but uh, we do that another day. Let's go back. Oh, and there should be a wedding, shouldn't there? Yeah. She's here. In good <laughs> respect, too. Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. I would like to see what you have in stock. Okay, can, I can we get upgrade you that something? One, can upgrade bows. We have 10 tungsten. Oh, right. They go up to legendary. We need more nickel, actually, to upgrade these. Um, Let's upgrade that. Why not? Well. Oh, I didn't look at it in its new look. It looks like that. Um, what else do we want to use, is the question. You like the looks of that one? Mm. Now, yeah, now we are missing uh, the nickel stuff. Right, I wanted to change to the Thor's I outfit. Do good work, Let's see I if our say. shop has nickel. Then we I buy everything my leave. and so uh, upgrade the Until Thor set we and meet. then we wear it. That's our next, the next uh, hey, thing, right? What do you have? Hello there. What do you have today? I don't think I have enough uh, opal. Well, we don't need that. I need a hundred for the gear. Oh, I don't think I want that Isu stuff. But those might be interesting. But for that, I would have to I'm do off. more be well, friend. quests. Goodbye for now. Okay. Let's go shopping. Hope she has tin. You look Oops. striking today, Eivor. <laughs> Thanks. You too. May I see your stores? I'm practically nice. giving it away. But Who only three. Wise? So that's not a lot. Is that everything? For now, yes. I will see Thank you later, you. friend. I hope to see you soon. Okay. Huh? Oops. <laughs> nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. Yeah, but he's not really Sigurd anymore. Or at least not the Sigurd we know. What have you got for me today? You now. have a keen eye for quality. Thor's gauntlets. There, Igor. Now you can take on anything. And everything else should be fine, right? Do we have a Thor cape? Oh, we don't have a cape fitting to the Thor outfit. Oh, that's ah, a problem. That one's pretty good. Yeah, but everything else is upgraded. I mean, we could upgrade the Thor set if we are going to wear it even I feel to like legendary. Look how strong. Or mythical, not legendary. So. Let's see what else is of the Thor set. Yeah, the gauntlets, of course. All then my pieces are good, but that one's very good. The helmet. This will serve you well. Oh, it has wings. <laughs> uh, that's a bit funny. But other than that, it looks interesting. And the battle plate. Okay. And then we need a weapon. Is that what you want? I mean, 
We need to use a hammer if we are using the Thor set, right? <laughs> Is there any question? And uh, yeah, we don't have a cave. That's that's the problem. I don't know if there is a cave to the Thor set. And which shield looks Thory? The Briton shield? Um, what kind of set is it, ah, anyways? I really don't know good. by looking at that. Hmm. We can wear Ullur. I mean, it says five. Five pieces, so there must be a cape. How do we find that? Okay, that's crazy. I have never thought about that. I thought we had it with the last sister. But yeah, that's not the case. I can get you that one, huh. Pixie. But I think the hidden ones is now complete. Maybe you should wear that. You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Put that gear to good use out there. I will. That's all we can change. Hmm. I mean, now the set does nothing for us. Because we don't have the complete set. That's life. Let's take the hammer for now. <laughs> Just for the looks. Just for the looks. Do we have... Uh, oh no, I didn't look. It's bear. So we should wear a bear shield if we have one. That one. Yeah. It's as good as any. Isn't it? Oh, we have more. Ah, that's bear too. That's not. That's raven. Yeah, let's, let's take the Spartan shield. Wherever we have a Spartan shield doesn't matter. Yeah, look at that. Dang. And our cape kind of fits the style, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Let's go to Renvi and see if she's impressed by our new look. I intended to use it. Please, calm down. Uh-oh. What's going on? Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Okay. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced, with scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sale with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Sounds fair enough. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, 
I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. I mean, he could have asked. Will there be a follow-up? If I now hear her story again, will she explain that the cloth was not stained? Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. No. My okay. property, I scoured passing lies. Holger, now. I confront, I ask only the... So Holg. That is right. Hmm. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. I mean, he cannot just take everything. And, uh... I mean, if there would be more options, there could be an option that if Holger sells his piece of art, um, then he has to give her half of it or something. <laughs> but uh, if he just goes around and takes things which already happened before, I think that's not okay. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the- This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Uh, yes. But... If... I mean, I can give him the silver, right? We are rich. Uh, but if I speak up against him now, then it will get even worse. We can do that behind his back. He must not know that we are not on his side, right? Because he's going crazy. And uh, that will end badly if we let him. We have to spin our... our webs behind his back, him not knowing it. So I will support Sigurd's judgment, but I know that the game won't let me, but uh, in my mind, I then can give 
or they don't even have to pay each other. I mean, Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. Right? I mean, he doesn't have to know that they won't pay each other. See, they already like each other again. You were well within your rights. Yeah, and he won't pay her 30 silver. So everything's good. <laughs> and we have not angered Sigurd. No letters. Ah, oh, I got one. <gasps> no way. That is what I wanted. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. We have a jack-o'-lantern. Made of turnip. Oh, I love it. Okay. You look well. Oh, we can talk to Sigurd. Hey, what was that all Sigurd, about? Sigurd, leave me be, if you wish it. Okay, we cannot talk to him. <laughs> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor, for stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man, I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid, but nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glauichestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes, for all our pains. Oh, we got raw materials. Nice. We should build. And there's not much left. I want to see the alliance map. Let's see what we do next. Um, they want us to go to Winchester. So I think we should first do some random things. Uh, like uh, that one. Power 190. That's laughable. And then maybe Snottinghamshire to get the north. And I think we should do that last because that will be most probably the last actual main quest that will proceed in the game and maybe solve the issue with uh, What a way to Norvikshire. Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the north, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. Oh, the Picts. Yeah. Nice. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Jervikshire. That's how they pronounce it. Jervikshire. Okay, I have to remember that. More intel. Speak to Rambot. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have attacked. Now let's see if we can build something before we end the episode. We won't go to Jervikshire in this one. Is there something to build at all? I mean, I can upgrade stuff, right? I don't think we have enough for... for... the creed. Let's untag all these things. 
Ah, we have 19 Roman artifacts. Maybe we can go to the museum. No, we only have three medallions. Okay. I have so much fish, but none of them fit for the altars. <laughs> That's the codex that we just read. Oh, and we still have uh, the maps, the treasure maps. And at some point, Sethix, Sethix, we need to go back to Rikjafilke, to Norway. What's new here? Oh, that. Because there are some things too, but maybe we do that at the very end of the playthrough. Let's go and visit our Roman friend. Can I upgrade the museum? No. Here oh, yeah. you are. 13. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful. And here is Gladiator. something for you. <laughs> There should be more like this out there. Okay. I have to go. See you soon. Valet! Cool. Now, what do we build? That has been built. I think there are no new building options, right? Are there? I doubt it. Let's take the horse. The weird pink horse. <laughs> Can I upgrade her hut? No. Can upgrade that. Let's do it. Oh, plus three armor. I actually like that. Okay. I still can interact. Though. Oh. We can upgrade it even more. Crazy stuff. I wonder how many times we can do that. This is not upgradable. There's cattle that can be upgraded too. But it also is the second stage of upgrades. That's 90 supplies. Is there something new down here, maybe? I doubt it. There's a hut. Nothing to build down here. Problem is, we, I think we can see what can be built anew. Right? Are uh, these with the uh, greenish... Uh, color, they are upgradable, I think. Her hut would be upgradable then, too. Huh. Why is that? Yeah, but, but nothing new. Okay. That's fine. And we cannot see anything here. Hmm. Okay, well, I think uh, that's it then for this episode. And in the next one, we will go to Yorkshire. I already forgot <laughs> how it is pronounced. <laughs> uh, that's bad. I'm sorry. My memory is not the best. We can build. Oh no, there is something we could build that weird gladiator statue that we just got but i think i like these things more that are here a 
could hand in my tattoos. Couldn't I? I've been working on some designs. I never know I would how like that... to see what you have in stock. How did that how I get rid of those in my inventory? I think just talking to her? I mean we have a few options now. Do I wanna have something else? What are we uh we are wearing that? Hmm I don't know about these. Just don't care enough, that's the problem. Let's get rid of those. I like the tree. The Yggdrasil tattoo. But not on the arm. I would rather prefer it on the back, maybe. On the arm it's weird. Hmm. Maybe I do have it for the back. Yeah, why not? We had the eggs, right? The double eggs. That's weird too. Let's do that. Can I see it? Yeah. That's cool, I guess. Anything else I can do for you? But we never see it anyways because he's dressed. I will see you later, friend. Until I see you next. So, yeah. Okay. Now we end the episode. <laughs> I think uh, we've done everything that we can do. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.